This is what we have as the current situation. What's the overall situation with you, Aquarius? All right. So we do have the Emperor with the King of Swords in reverse. I feel Aquarius, you bossed up. Okay. There is there is you who I see here who's taking control of a situation. Okay. You finally are getting structure. I feel someone's setting healthy boundaries out here, and there is someone that you were dealing with who's been very cold. I see and detached. Who you have cut off? You've definitely cut off someone who's being very manipulative towards you. Okay. Or someone who is just cold. Okay, but definitely one person of your has been cut off due to communication issues. Okay, all right, Aquarius, how do you see yourself in this connection? How do you see yourself in this connection? How do you see yourself in this connection, please? Ten of Pentacles with the Three of Pentacles in reverse. So, whereas it does look like you're very focused on your money right now, okay? Or, I'm getting two things here. Either you're very focused on your money, okay? But when it comes to collaborating, cooperating with this person, that's something that you don't want to do. Or, this is what you want with this person, okay? That the person that you're dealing with, whereas the one you've cut off. You bossed up. You let this person, you cut this person out of your life. Ten of Pentacles, either you're focused on your own stability, security, money, you're focused on your own self, focused on building something long-term, building a long-term future for yourself. But when it comes to this person out here, you refuse to work with them. Or this is what you want with this person. But when it comes to cooperating, compromising, collaborating with this person, it's like a big fat no from your side, all right? How does this person see themselves in the connection? Page of Pentacles in reverse. This person's obsessing over communication, okay? The Empress here. This person wants growth, expansion with you. They definitely look at you as someone who they want something long term with, okay? They're obsessing about communication, but they don't know how to. They're holding back communication on purpose, okay? Which could lead to a missed opportunity. This person wants to invest into you. They want something substantial with you, something very long term committed, okay? They could even look at you as someone who they want marriage with, okay? They see you as marriage material. They see you as they got the, you got that shit together, but they're not communicating. There is just this lack of communication, lack of investment from this person's side. All right, let's see. Tell me why is Aquarius the Three of Pentacles in reverse? Two of Swords. You're in two minds about working with this person, okay? You don't know what to do. I guess you're. it's more like you're blocking this person out. It's like there's a choice that you need to make, okay? And you know that you got to do something, but you're living in denial, okay? You're choosing to ignore this entire situation, okay? And not wanting to work on this person here. Because with the Eight of Pentacles here, I think you're very focused on your money, improving yourself, bettering yourself. All right, why is this person the Page of Pentacles in reverse? Why are they not communicating or investing? They're procrastinating. Why is the Page of Pentacles in reverse here? Ace of Cups, see? This person is obsessing over you. They want this. They dream about you, okay? They think about you day and night. I'm getting this person is obsessed, okay? This person wants a brand new beginning with you. They want a new emotional cycle with you, but they refuse to talk. Very stubborn energy. You know, the Page of Pentacles is usually someone, you know, uh, they don't really literally invest into anyone or anything and everything, okay? They think a lot. You know, they're probably very slow moving, very immature, but they do think 10 times before they want to invest into something. But that's what they're doing. They're procrastinating. But again, Ace of Cups here, they're constantly thinking about you. They have a lot of love for you, okay? Wanting to start the cycle, wanting to start this connection with you. But with the Nine of Swords here, this person's going through a lot of stress, a lot of anxiety, okay? Now, this person out here could be someone who's up at night. They're thinking about you day and night. They're in panic mode. They have sleepless nights, okay? But this is someone who's, ponder, you know, like they ponder, 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 and ponder, and they don't take any action. And that's exactly what's happening here. All right. Let's see. How does Aquarius view this person? How does Aquarius view this person? Too many cards. How does Aquarius view this person? Aquarius, you view this person as the page of cups in reverse with the seven of cups in reverse, okay? So you do view this person as someone, you know, uh, who is... 
no longer confused okay seven of cups in reverse is the card it upright is the card of um, confusion but when it's in the reverse this is someone i think you can even view this person as someone who's very overwhelmed with their options okay and someone who doesn't know what to do but you also view them as someone who's not expressing themselves okay maybe you view this person as someone who wants to who wants to be chased okay very emotionally immature is how you view them and you view them as someone who just does not know what to do why the seven of cups in reverse why the seven of cups in reverse? Why is Aquarius leaving this person as the seven of cups in reverse? Why is the seven of cups in reverse here? To five of pentacles in reverse with the nine of pentacles here. Yeah. So you view this view this person as someone who probably is very focused on their own self, okay? You know that this person probably is someone who's codependent and they want to return back to you. But with the Nine of Pentacles here, you view, the, view them as someone who's financially independent or someone who's just focused on themselves, their career, their money, their business, their goals, okay? Someone who likes to be single, okay? But not likes to be single because they have to, but they choose to be single, okay? So that's how they view, how you view them. So to me, this looks like with the Seven of Cups in reverse here, like I said, someone who's very clear about what they want. Okay, and you view this person as someone who's clearly choosing to keep themselves emotionally shut off and not wanting to be vulnerable. Okay, you see themselves, uh, you see them as someone who wants to probably even return to you, who misses you, and they want to come back to you, but they're choosing to be on their own. Okay, all right, how does this person view Aquarius? All right, this person, Aquarius views you as the ace of pentacles with the page of wands in reverse this person sees you aquarius as someone who definitely wants something secure something stable and wanting a brand new start with them but you're choosing not to communicate okay there's just a lack of communication from your side they know that you want this with them okay but you're just choosing see because the ten of pentacles is on your mind and three of pentacles in reverse you're choosing not to work on this Okay, because probably in the past you did work on this, okay, but you felt very unappreciated and uh, you were, uh, you felt neglected probably and it was a very one-sided situation, okay. This person was someone who, you know, you just had a very hard time getting in, you know, getting that teamwork with and this, and you don't want to do all the work, okay, alone, on your own. You want it to be together. You want to build with this person together and you don't want to take the entire load of the relationship. That's why with the emperor, you, you probably stood up for yourself and you cut this person off. Okay, probably there could be a lot of communication issues with this person. This person just never probably gave you the entire uh, truth. Okay, or they were just in and out with communication, very manipulative. All right, why is the page of wands in reverse here? Why, why is this how they view Aquarius? Why is the page of wands in reverse? Three of Swords in reverse and the Ten of Cups in reverse here. Yeah. So it looks like you view this person views you as someone, you know, who is holding a grudge again. Um, you know, there's been a fallout, okay, in this relationship here. Something didn't work out, something failed here, but they do view you as someone who's trying to get over this with the Three of Swords in reverse here. You're trying to move this person views views you as someone who's trying to move on and heal from this. A situation that ended badly okay a relationship that was once very very emotionally fulfilling they view you as someone who's just trying to move on okay with the ace with the ace of pentacles here maybe they view you as someone who's wanting a new start somewhere else okay because they do see you as someone who's just not interested in communicating okay because something failed something didn't work out between you guys and they see you as someone healing okay trying to recover from that heartbreak um all right why is all this happening let me why is all this happening for Aquarius? Why is all this happening? Why is all this happening? Ah, magician. Sorry. Someone's manifesting you. Someone's manifesting you back, Aquarius. This is the magician. This is someone who's got the gift of the gap, someone who knows what they want, someone who's hell-bent on manifesting you back, okay? This is someone in full-blown manifestation mode, all right? Give me one more card. For why is all this happening? Give me one more card for why is all this happening? Whoa, Knight of Cups. Finally, someone ready to come towards you, giving you a love offer, all right? This person has a lot of love for you and they're finally going to open up. 
With the Nine of Swords in reverse here, I feel this person is finally uh, releasing any kind of stress, anxiety, worries that they were constantly in their head about. And they're like, trying to see the air light at the end of the tunnel here. And the reason for, for this is that this person is getting better, they're sleeping better. Okay, they're trying to see some hope in this relationship. And with the Magician and Knight of Cups here, this person is manifesting a brand new beginning with you. They want love and they're coming in to offer you something uh, very, very emotional. Okay. This is some, this is the lover boy, right? The Knight of Cups. The Knight of Cups is someone who is, uh, you know, uh, someone who comes in to sweep you off your feet. Okay, so get ready, Aquarius. All right, what is the best, possible, best possible outcome for Aquarius for this week of February 2021? What is the best, best possible outcome for Aquarius for this week of February 2021? Okay, too many cards. We have the two of two of pentacles in reverse and we have the eight of swords in reverse. Someone's finally going to make up their mind. Okay, if this is you, this is that, whoever this is, right? Whoever was juggling or going back and forth with the decision, someone's finally releasing themselves from a situation, okay, that they had held themselves into, okay? Someone's getting out of their own jail, getting out of their own mind prison, or getting out of that, getting out, I can't. Okay, dog, one second. <sighs> All right, Mercury retrograde. Calm down. All right, someone's finally releasing themselves from a situation where they found themselves stuck in. Okay, and they were stuck in that situation because of their own fear, okay, because of their own issues. They finally have a splash of cold water on their face, all right, and now someone's finally made up their mind. And they made up their mind to come towards you, okay. No more juggling. This is someone who's crystal clear about what they want, okay. So that's what I have for you, Aquarius. Yeah, they're coming in towards you. They're coming in to sweep you off your feet. For sure. And all this is happening is why is because with the emperor here, I feel this is what you did. You bossed up, right? You put in that healthy boundary. You said no means no. Okay. You said you were dead serious and you said what you wanted is you wanted something very committed. This person on the same hand wants the same thing with you. Okay. With the empress here and the ace of cups here. It's just that they're just not investing into it. They're constantly procrastinating, procrastinating about how to go about with it. You could be dealing with a perfectionist. Okay. Someone who waits for the right time, the right moment. They wait for everything to be right on point and that's when they want to come in okay but um yeah you want the same thing you want ten of pentacles you want marriage with this person okay you're dealing with someone immature okay so you've reached this stage where you want like the entire package was this person here being a page okay so they're very slow moving okay this person's taking baby steps towards you whilst you want something quicker something stronger something more secure okay they're ready to offer you something small, okay? Because I don't see something very uh, big coming from their side. I don't see a huge offer coming from their side. They're a knight, okay? But yeah, I feel you're dealing, you're the emperor out here, okay? And you're dealing with a knight here. So that's like, uh, they're coming and opening up emotionally, but you're using your logic this time and that's why you cut them off, okay? You're being more logical. You're being more um, unexpressive. You're not wanting to open up your emotions, although you have emotions deep down, but you're just choosing not to do anything about it because with the two of swords here, right? I think you're blocking this person out or you just refuse to work with this person, okay? That's what I have for you, Aquarius. I hope this reading resonates with you. Leave your comments below. If this resonates with you, do like, share, subscribe and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.